Welcome back now crew. So today's a busy day and I'm taking you guys along with me. It is 417. So it's my mom and my daughter's birthday. You guys know my mom passed. So we are going to the cemetery to drop off some gifts for her. I made some 420 weed nails last year, last 420. And I also made her some breast cancer nails as well. And we are going to drop those off to the cemetery as well as some flowers just to say happy birthday, happy 420 and yeah, all that. So I'm gonna take you guys along with us to the cemetery. It won't be creepy, I promise. And then I'm going to do some nails for her as well. So we'll drop off some old nails. Then I'll do a new set for her. And what else are we going to do? We're going to cook and we're going to celebrate. Um, I think that's about it. So yeah, if you want to watch that, then stay tuned. Who, who baby shower you going to? What baby shower? Pink and blue, shut up. Let me turn the music off. Hey, what you little cute self? Y'all had me waiting from since when this Are you morning? cute? Like five hours. That's not appropriate. You still cute though. Come on in the car. Hey, Rella. Jada, get so, in the front seat. Ain't she so cute? Get in the front. She thinks she's somebody. I mean, I'm going to have to make... All right, y'all. So basically, Naya was mad because she claimed we made her wait five hours. Blah, blah, blah. She always has an attitude about something. That's just her normal demeanor. So anyway, we made it to the cemetery. And it is so pretty out here. I told you guys it was not going to be creepy. It is so beautiful out here. And I really appreciate whoever like keeps it looking like this. Because it's just amazing. Anyway, these are the nails that I made last year. These are some weed nails with a little backwood. Bear. Yes, I actually got some real backwoods paper and cut it out and whatever and put it on here when i made these last year i thought you guys were gonna judge me i thought i was gonna get all kind of backlash but i did not thank you guys i appreciate it because you know it's just all art my mom loved to smoke i wanted to make some nails for her that i thought she would really appreciate it and i really do think she would have loved these and definitely would have worn them so thank you guys so much for allowing me to post my video without any type of judgment that meant a lot to me and i really do appreciate it Holy crap. Right. Why are they all for real? Holy crap. Uh -uh. <laughs> Literally, we're being like followed by these ducks. But anyway, here is the other set of nails I was talking about. These are the breast cancer nails that I made for her. I think they are so adorable. I love them. I love them. Love them so much, so much, so much. So I know she would definitely have worn those as well. So I made two sets of nails for her, both of which I think she would have loved and appreciated. And I think she would have worn each set. So we're going to bury them. We're going to bury them. We're going to bury them. But this duck, y'all, I swear, knows us. Like, I, I swear this duck knows us. And this duck is still coming. This duck said, screw that. No. I'm with the crew. That duck is so That's too, that's too This duck about to take us right to where we need to go. All right. All right. What if it is her? I think this one. Okay, but what if this is her? I know, because she's really fine. What if this is, this is her? And she is like, hi, y'all. Y'all came to see me on my birthday. Where is she? This is her, right? Hey, this is you. Really? Mom. <laughs> you want to look at this thing? like an hour while we're here y'all need to spend time with this duck she, she spend time with the duck just in case it's her yeah you play too much duck <laughs> uh they're gonna probably dig it out for sure because if you a regular duck i don't want no parts of you right if you a regular duck 
you need to go with your friend. They hang, you hang with us, though. For real, because all the other ducks she, left. And this one is just here. Here for the shenanigans. She's going to pitch it right here, too. All right, let's go. I have the stuff to, to bury. I got the spoons. We're going to dig a hole with these spoons and stuff these nails in the ground. Where is the duck? Yep, duck coming back. <laughs> that duck is back for real. Where he at? Hey, don't she at? My butt. <laughs> Do you let me know if he come if he if she come over here or he whatever? Yeah. Hey. I really feel like the duck is hurt. I don't mm -hmm. care what nobody say. Yeah. Oh, this is this is soft right here. She's shaking her tail. No. Nah, I know. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Jada said she shook her Excuse tail. Bella, stop it. That's good enough for Jada. Jesus. Duck. Got a hole in his leg. Are you sharing? Let me know, duck. Every time you ask, the duck leaves. All the time. <laughs> she With be, a little ugly neck move. She's shy. <laughs> All the time. She's shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wish I knew what kind of language ducks spoke. Quack Galen. What is this? <gasps> no. Oh, <hell> no. <laughs> No, that ain't. The, that's not the grave. Like, that's not the. Serious. That's not the coffin. We can't get down to the coffin. Oh. We can't dig that deep. Rella said. Rella said, "I'm out." Yeah. Are you grandma? Sharon? Come here, Sharon. Come here, Sharon. Come here. Excuse me. <laughs> Rella said, "Screw that." Come here, Sharon. You. Look what we doing for you. We know you used to get your nails done. We got you some nails. Walking away. That. Ooh, that kind of attention. Come here. We got oh, some nails oh. done for you. We got your nails done. He's going to peck at it. Oh, you're too close uh -uh. to me. You're too close to me. Yeah, what have you dig, but uh-uh. We, we, um, <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Miss Duck Ma'am. <laughs> we got you some nails. How you going to open that first? Open the, uh, the, the flowers. Uh-uh. We got you some nails, ma'am. Oh, you see them nails? And we're yeah. going to put them right here. With the flowers. But you got to move because we're kind of scared. Can you move, please, for one second? Thank you. Just one second. Thank you. Thank you. Let me, let me get. That. Stay right there because I'm going to bend down. <laughs> I don't want you to bite my butt. Don't pull a fast one. Right. <laughs> don't get a little nibble. <laughs> here we go. Yo, I really feel like that's her, man. I wish I would have brought some polish. We could have polished some toes. No, so oh. <laughs> yeah, Do we have? No, nah, we don't got nothing in the car. No cookies or nothing. Y'all came and visited her since she passed when we first came. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. And this duck was not here. As many times as I've come here, I've Maybe never seen this duck. Ever. There's never been It's never been, it's like never been ducks. Sorry. It's been a long time, probably. No, these. I think it's because it's. Huh? Where's the water? Right. Like, where do they live? There's no water, no pond, no. Over there. I think it's a pond. I hope it's a pond. We're not a duck, get all the way over here and stay over here. It's the question. His friend said, up there. And do. Mm mm mm. All right, Sharon. Stay over there. Maybe the bird wants some music. Yes. Let's play some music. I didn't even bring my extra phone. My music phone. You sure it's okay yes. to, to dig? No, what is this? I don't think it's the damn grave. I don't think so either. The, the what you call it? It might just be a rock. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you I'm about to you can sit on? bury yeah. the nails. Should I pour them in individually or leave them in the bag? Um, individually. Just take them out the yeah, bag. Like yeah. Come back and dig them up. Here, Naya, open the bag for me because I got the other hand holding the phone. Thank you. Okay. The back. Give me that other spoon. 
You want the other spoon? Well, mm -hmm. should we? Maybe we should wait till we dig deeper and then put them at the bottom of the plant. No, no. I don't want them to take. I'm about to say no because when they clean up and, and take the plants away, I don't want them to take the oh, nails oh, away. <laughs> Hey, right, cause she's talking about just relax with staring at Throw the throw the nails in. Hurry oh, up. move, man. Oh, move. Throw the nails in. All right. So now. Wait, who wasn't? Y'all want to? I don't got nothing. Y'all done digging? Oh, you want to dig deeper? That wasn't yeah, enough. To, yes, to that wasn't enough. Like I'm sure if he wanted to bite too, but still, All right, so that was yeah. enough. Well, I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, no, y'all put the flowers in, don't you? So let's. Move, do, okay, so move, I'm gonna put the move, nails move. over here. Move. And then we could dig the flowers right next to it. Okay. So you want me to dig over there? Why you just, keep just right next to it. It's alright. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. so bad. Sorry. Here. Beautiful. Made her own. So beautiful. Everybody Hopefully. get their foot in here and give it a good little pat. Hopefully when we come back it'll be here. Be bigger. It'll, it'll be probably. here. It's bigger. It'll push down a little bit. Wait, this will grow? Yeah. Yeah, if they let it stay here, but I don't know if they're gonna let it because I don't think we're allowed to like... I mean, it's not bothering nobody. What? I don't know. I don't think we're allowed to plant things at the cemetery. Like, we just can't come out here and start a little garden. Right. So, <laughs> so they might mm -hmm. dig it up, but you should have like grew a real close to the fence. They can't take it out. No, right on top of it. Is fine. If they do remove this, mm -hmm. then um, next year we'll build Another something one. close no. to the fence. Uh -uh. That's it. All right, Sharon, come here. You like my tattoo? Oh, you want to go get some food or something? No, we're going to go. Wait, let's play her music. Let's play some music real quick. It was going so slow. Well, this is your time. Look, it's, it's wagging his head. I want to touch it, but I'm scared. I mean, he ain't got no teeth, right? No. Mm. Touch it, rather. Touch it, rather. Touch it. I don't think the duck will let you touch it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He don't want to touch it. But he want to run up on everybody and their mom. Yeah. All right, bye, ducky. <laughs> so you tried it. <laughs> now this, this is real ridiculous now. Like I don't want us to leave. Sorry, Doug. We can't stay forever. For real. That's very cute. Let's see if we move out the way. Bye, Ducky. Oh. You gonna open the door so I could? Yeah, no, that's scary. I'm out. All right, let's go. Where is it? It's, it's like right house. here, right by the car. Oh, the same house Bye, Ducky. Oh, I'm scared. Like, what if I, what if that's how it, it lost a toenail? Uh-uh. Probably running, you right. Probably running up on people. Running up on people. All right, people. guys. So, we're heading home. So, I told you guys it wasn't going to be creepy, right? And that was actually the first time that I was able to visit the cemetery and not feel like really sad or just like down or heavy. Like, I didn't feel heavy and I didn't feel drained. We went feeling good and we left feeling good. So right after we left the cemetery, we went shopping. We went to get some food and things like that. And now I'm home and I'm about to do a set of nails. So I gave away my last year's set of nails. And now I'm going to create her a new set of nails. And maybe I'll drop them off next year. And, you know, maybe it'll just be a whole thing that every year I drop nails off for her. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. So anyway, I put in the Model 1's nail tips to create my nail plate for Miss Nala, my practice hand. And now I'm going to use this gel to glue on some stiletto tips, okay? So let me just repeat that in case you guys are like, what? Oh my God, I'm confused. Okay, so to create the nail plate, 
so that I could have a surface area to work with. So in order to do that, you need to use nail tips. The nail tips that I always use is from Model 1s, but I flip them backwards. So I flip them around and that for me creates the best nail plate, like the most realistic looking nail plate. So I really, really like those. Again, they are from Model 1s and I do have a coupon code. It will be in the description box below. So now once you have your nail plate, you can use a form, which I use often. I often build nails with a form, but today I just wanted to use some stiletto tips. So I'm gluing on my stiletto tips. The stiletto tips that I'm using, I will have in my Amazon storefront. So link to that will be in the description box below as well. So to glue all my tips, guys, you can use glue. I do not use glue to glue my tips on. I use gel, guys. I use gel. So you could glue your tips on with regular base coat gel. And that's what I always use, regular base coat gel. However, I have this new XVX system and it came with this cute little bottle of gel with a nice little nozzle on it. So I decided that I'm going to use that to glue my tips on just because the bottle is super cute, but that's the only reason. So guys, continue to use your regular base coat gel. Do not go out and buy the XVX system just to get a cute little bottle like this if you want to buy the system buy it because you want it but not because it just looks cute the way that I'm gluing my tips on you know what I mean like I'm always encouraging you guys to save your money and buy the essentials this is not an essential it's just super cute and it is very convenient with the little nozzle and things like that so anyway when you're using gel to glue your tips on you want to apply the gel to the tip just like you would if it was glue then you're going to apply it to the nail plate just like you would if it was glue but then you're going to flash cure it for about 10 seconds before you move on to the next nail once all the nails have the tips on them then you stuff them into the lamp and cure them for a full 60 seconds so here miss nala is just baking in the oven for a full 60 seconds right so now the nails are on like those tips are on they are not going anywhere so now let's test out some greens so she had a set of weed nails right 420 nails and 420 is literally right around the corner. By the time I post this video, I will probably just post this video on 420. So with that being said, I want to do something green. I'm not going to do the parsley for weed like I did last year, but I do want to get like a nice weed green. You know, I just really want to just give her some birthday nails with the whole 420 theme. So I'm testing out some of my greens. I do have more greens than this, but these were the ones that kind of really just caught my eye. That glitter one is so stinking cute. It's from Ya Yogi. And there's no name on it. There's no color. Like, I can't tell you guys what the name of the color is because there is no name. But I'm giving you guys a close up. And if you like it, just get on their website and try to find it, I guess. Super cheap. I think maybe like two or three bucks glitter for days absolutely gorgeous and so this one is also very pretty and this one is from young nail so it does have a name so i'll show you guys so this is the front young nails has a lot of nice glitters and then this is the back it is from their block party collection it is a quarter ounce so yeah, that's the information on the bottom. Super, super pretty, super, super pretty. Okay, so now this one is from Eye Gel Beauty and it is a dip powder. So we're going to try it with Monomer today. Color is called Seaweed and it's brand new. Never even used this, but we are going to pop that open for my mama today. Pop that open for my mama today. You're gonna get an exclusive never before tried on my channel color. So I hope it's actually really, really cute. I hope it comes out looking nice. <laughs> the other greens are pretty. So I'm confident that I'm going to have a beautiful green no matter what. You know, at so far, all the colors I have look really good. This green one from Eye Gel Beauty, though, I feel like it's the most earthy. You know, let me give you guys a close up. It's the most earthy, the most true to the theme you know what I mean this one on the end is just too light like that is out of the running for sure but the other four oh my god the other four like 
kind of confusing. I think I'm going to go with the eye gel beauty, that seaweed color. I think that's the one that I'm going to go with. And then here is a custom color that I made. It is a cover color, beautiful peachy pink. And I'm going to test that next to the green just to see what it will look like. But I think it'll be nice. I don't know if I'm going to use it yet, but I'm just going to test it and have it ready in case I do want to use it because I don't really have like a complete idea in mind, but I just know that I'm going to do birthday nails and it's going to be green. I don't really know what I'm going to do yet though, but that's not uncommon. Like yeah, you guys know, <laughs> you guys know I get the colors together. Like I know the colors that I want, but the overall look just comes together in the end like I never really plan it um I'll get better with that I'll get better I will get better I I always say that and then I never do but I know that eventually I'll become a planner but for now I'm just more of a wing it kind of gal and it's working for me so we're just gonna roll with it so now this seaweed green I want to tell you guys it is um what can I say like it's heavy so, and, it, and it's heavy because there's sprinkles in there or a shimmer or some sort, you know? Whenever you use a glitter acrylic, a shimmery type acrylic, usually it's heavy. So you don't want to go in with a wet brush. I went in with a wet brush because I did not know that it was going to be like that. I did not know that it was shimmery. Like, I, I just didn't know. Um, And that's okay. It's a new acrylic. Like, that's you know, it is what it is. Like <laughs> I went into it, didn't know how it was going to perform, but now I know. So, um, for the other nails, I'll know to have a drier brush or smaller beads. Uh, but the first bead I went with was kind of large and <laughs> it was like just dripping down a nail. I was like, Oh no, no, no. <laughs> uh, but it does work really, really well. So, Eye Gel Beauty, guys. I got a bunch of Eye Gel Beauty from, why did I, Orlando, where they had like the premiere show. So my first premiere show was in Orlando. And I got a bunch of Eye Gel Beauty acrylics. So when I brought them home, I know they're dip powders, but I was told they're dip powders and like you could use them as a regular acrylic. So that's why I got, I think I bought like 12 of them. So anyway, when I got them home and I tried them on a client, it did not work right for me. I hated it. It, it. it just would not spread right. It was just a big mess. I hated it. I hate, like, I felt like I wasted my money. I totally regretted purchasing all of the containers that I had. Like I said, I think I bought 12 of them because they were such a good deal. Well, guess what? I tried it with other monomers and I actually like it, y'all. I actually like it. So I just say that to say, if you guys have an acrylic and you hate it, my advice would be to try it with another monomer. That's what I did. The first time I used it, I cannot remember the name of the monomer that I was using. It could have been Me and Secret, but it could have been Enel Couture. Again, it was last year, so I'm not really sure. But all I know is it did not spread right. It just would not lay right for anything. Um, but I tried with other monomers and it works great. So it works great as a dip powder. It works great as regular acrylic. They don't sponsor me. They don't even know that I'm alive. They don't know that I exist. <laughs> so don't think that I changed my mind on this acrylic because, oh, now they're sponsoring me. I know some of you guys think like that, but no, absolutely not. Um, when it didn't work right, it could have just been my error in using the wrong type of monomer. So anyway, I switched it up and it works great and I do like it. Um, so now I want to point out, I sped up the second finger because I am doing a reverse smile line on that finger. If you guys watch me, it, it was going pretty fast. It was going pretty fast. And that's because I, it's not a tutorial. I don't want you guys to watch and kind of learn from that yet because I have not done a reverse smile line with acrylic since school, okay? All my reverse smile lines recently have been with poly gel. So I have not been practicing on my reverse smile lines and I just didn't want you guys to watch and learn from that. So I just went really, really fast. You know, I sped it up really fast so that you guys would not pay attention to it. 
So I put my acrylic on there and now I'm letting it dry. So while it sits there and dries, I'm moving on to my next nail. And so this one is going to be an ombre. And so I've learned that this acrylic with the shimmer in it is very heavy and it runs. So with that being said, uh, if you guys notice, I put a little bit on my brush at a time and kind of feathered it back into the nail. It worked very, very well like that. Very, very well. So yeah. And so now I'm applying my beautiful cover pink. And again, I don't know the ingredients for this cover color. I really need to get better, man. I really need to get better. I did not write down the ingredients to uh, my cover color. I just made it. And I'm so upset with myself because I cannot recreate it. I'm glad I made a lot of it, but I just can't make it again. <laughs> so once this color is gone, it's gone. But I feel like it's so pretty. It's like a pink. Has a little shimmer to it. If you kind of look closely, there's a little shimmer in there. It looks really... It's, and, and it works just so... It's just so creamy. It's just so nice to work with. So it's just a pleasure. Um... But sadly, I don't know how I made it. So the next batch of colors that I make, I swear, the next batch of colors that I make, I am going to write it down. I'm going to write it down. I, yeah, I'm just going to write it down. Because <laughs> this is ridiculous now. I have so many colors that I made and did not write down the ingredients or the formula to it. And it's like, damn, like when it's done, it's done. But... I'm going to get better with that too. I promise. I promise. So this is my cute little ombre. I think it's so pretty. I need a little, just a little bit more green. Just a little bit. Let's put a little dab right there and then just feather it back. And again, with this, I'm just adding a little bit at a time. And they're having a sale, guys. iGel Beauty is having a 60% off sale. I literally went crazy on their website. I cannot wait to show you guys everything that I bought. I can't wait for it to come in. I'm going to swatch everything for you guys. It's just going to be so, so, so much fun. All right, so now the little reverse smile line has dried. So I'm going to just, you know, perfect that shape a little bit. And now I'm going in with the green. Yeah. So it's going to be a French, but French with green instead of white. So now I'm going in with that green and I'm just packing it around the little smile line area. And it is so pretty, so pretty. So I didn't do that great of a job when I was creating my reverse smile. Like it just was not great to me anyway. It wasn't great to me. Um, but once you just let it dry and you file it, then it just comes out so nice. And yeah, so. I'm so glad I didn't scrap the nail because I thought about like, oh, this this is horrible, Nikki. They are going to clown you. Scrap that nail, start over. <laughs> so I almost scrapped it and just started over, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I didn't because it worked out and it just looks so pretty. And that green just, oh, oh. So for anyone that knows my mom, she always had her nails done. No matter what was going on, her nails were done. Her nails and her toenails, always done. But she always wore earth tones. Like she just was an earth tone type of gal. So nudes, neutrals, browns, uh, dark greens like this. Um, even like a like a dark maroon kind of color. Like any of those like earthy type tones that's her avenue like that's where she lived so I really think she would enjoy this green like I honestly I feel like she would rock this whole little set that I'm trying to put together like these colors are definitely her and my mom is a bragger oh my gosh I never got to do her nails which is like ah, oh, it's just like I really wish I would have got into nails sooner you know, like if I just would have went to nails a couple years sooner, I could have done her nails and I know she would have really loved them. And she is a bragger. So she would have been bragging to everyone. Oh yeah, my daughter did these. You like these? Yeah, my daughter did them. But also at the same time, she's very, very picky and very, very critical and very, very honest. She's an Aries. So you, if you guys know anything about astrology, 
you know, Aries, <laughs> they are honest. They gonna tell you what it is and they gonna tell you what it ain't. And whether it hurt your feelings or not is none of their concern because they wanna say it and they're going to say it, period, point blank, the end. So I don't think... <laughs> Me doing her nails in my earlier state, like if you guys go back and watch my old videos, like I thought they were hot shit, you know, I just thought I was doing such a great job. Uh, but watching them back now, I'm like, ooh, ouch, that, ooh, nah, ooh, that was not cute, Nikki. Yeah, she would have told me. So as a newbie starting out, a beginner, she's not someone that you would want to practice on because she would hurt your feelings. You know what I mean? She'd be like, oh, Nikki, no, this is ugly. You got to file that. You got to do that. So, yeah, probably not starting out. I would have wanted to do her nails, but definitely today. Like if she was around today or if I would have started nail school a lot earlier, I would have loved to do her nails like this. And she would have rocked them and she would have bragged to everybody. <laughs> She would have bragged to everybody. I, I already know it. I already know it because it's just how she is. <laughs> oh my gosh. She is a such a show off. Yes, she is, y'all. Yes, she is. So that's kind of why I felt like that duck at the freaking cemetery was her. Like I felt like that duck was kind of showing off. I felt like that duck was like, look at me, look at me, wagging the tail like a dog. And I did, the duck was wagging the tail. I don't know what that means. Like, I'm not like an animal whisperer, but I feel like if something's wagging a tail, it's happy, you know? So I felt like that duck was her and she was wagging the tail just to say, hey, y'all, you know, like you can't wave your hand as a duck. You can't wave your hand, <laughs> but you could wave that tail. And I felt like that's what she was doing. Am I crazy? Who thinks I'm crazy? If you think I'm crazy, keep your opinion to yourself. But if you think that I'm not crazy and you kind of feel a little bit like, hey, that maybe that duck is her. Drop the duck emoji. For real. Drop that duck emoji in the comment section. Drop the duck emoji in the comment section. First of all, is there a duck emoji? I hope there's a duck emoji. If there is one, drop it in the comment section below so I know I'm not crazy. And you guys think so too. Like you guys think that it might be her. I really feel like it's her. I really do. And the kids did too. Like it wasn't just me. Like, oh my God, this is Sharon, da, da, da. And the kids were thinking I'm crazy. Like, they all agreed. Like, yeah, that's her. <laughs> that's her. And we played some old school reggae because obviously you guys know my mom is from Jamaica. So we played some old school reggae. And I couldn't leave the clip in, obviously, for uh, copyright. But we, you know, we played her some music and things like that. Um, but yeah, the duck just would not leave. Like literally we got in the car, the duck went to the passenger side where who was on that side? Naya was on that side and Jaden was on that side. So the duck was over there for a while. So I couldn't drive off. And then, so I started to drive. The duck ran around to my side. Like, no, 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 don't leave, don't leave. Legit y'all, for real. The duck was on my side. And then I'm like, dang, like, I don't want to run the thing over, but we, we got to go. So, yeah. So then finally I left, but I've never experienced anything like that. I just thought that was just so weird, but also so very cool. And yeah, <laughs> drop the duck emojis, y'all. Drop the duck emojis because I, I really feel like that was her. I really do. And like with all of my being, I feel like that was her. So anyway, 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 back to these nails. So this thumb, I just wanted to be kind of creative and different. I don't know what I was doing per se, but it was supposed to be like a clear and green swirl. It's kind of like what I started out doing. It doesn't really look like that, you know, it doesn't really look like that, but it still looks kind of cool, kind of different. Um, So let's roll with it. 
If I hated it, I would have just filed it off before it got hard. So that's what you guys got to do. If you're working with colored acrylic, most of the time, not always, but most of the time, they dry a little bit slower than your regular clear acrylic. In this case, that's the case for me. It, it's drying a little bit slower, which is good. If I hated this design, I would have filed it off while it was still soft. Just file it right off and start over. I've had to do that before plenty times. To real people, to my practice hand, it doesn't matter. Um, file it off while it's soft and start over. It doesn't take any time because like I said, it's it's soft. So it's easy to work with. So now back to this little reverse smile line. Wow, that just oh, that nail was a lot of work. So after you apply the green, you have to wait for the green to dry and then you file off the green that overlaps the pink and it looks so beautiful. So now let's encapsulate it. So here we go. I'm just wetting it a little bit with the monomer just to remove some of that dust that I just created by filing it. So now I'm just going to encapsulate it real quick and I'm going to speed that up. I sped up all my encapsulating clips today. Uh, just to save time because this video is, you know, already kind of long. So anyway, the nails are filed and buffed and I think they are so adorable so far. And I have some transfer foil gel. And just as a note, the gel is from the same company as acrylic. So if you're on their website purchasing for the 60% off sale and you want to try some transfer foil gel, well, now's the time because it's on sale, darlings. It's on sale. So I'm going to do some transfer foil gel on the full nails. So the green one and the pink one. So with this transfer foil gel, you have to cure it in the lamp. I know there are some that you do not have to, like the star gel or the star glue, but this one you do have to cure. So you brush it on the nail, you cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds, and then it creates a tacky surface. You take your little transfer foil and just just do what I just did. Just stick it on, stick it on, and that's it. And so pretty, so pretty. And I don't know, it just looks so, so artsy. My mother is very artsy, okay? That's what the green one looks like, very pretty. My mother is very artsy, okay? She likes art, she's very creative. She loves visual art, she loves creative art. So I just think she would really have a kick out of those little foils there. She's never had those on her nails because when you go to get your nails done at the shops where, where we used to go get our nails done, they never had anything like transfer foil. They, like they, they, they didn't have that. You know, they didn't have that. The nail artist would just do a little freehand line here, a little line there, um, maybe one or two bling here or there. But that was the extent of their creativity so yeah, that was that, <laughs> that was that. So anyway, I'm going in now with my lovely little spider gel. The spider gel that I'm using today is from Model Ones. So again, I will leave a link in the description box, but it's gold, y'all. It's gold. So obviously I had to pull it out. It matches with the little gold foil. So Yep, I, oh, so, just so cute. So this spider gel, you have to cure for 60 seconds. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp. Pop her in the oven. Pop her in the oven. Pop her in the oven and let her bake, bake, bake. <laughs> Y'all thought I forgot that song, didn't you? I'm not going to forget my song. Y'all thought I forgot my cure song. No, ma'am. No, sir. All right, guys. So I'm using that same exact gel that I used to glue my tips on. I am also going to use it as a bling gel. So as you saw, I switched the nozzle out. It does come with a precision cap, which makes it super duper cool. Um, when this bottle is empty, because of that precision cap, I really do like really appreciate that precision cap. When this bottle is empty, I'm probably going to fill it up with other gels, other hard gels, because, you know, it just seems really convenient. 
So anyway, I applied the bling with the gel and now I am curing it. This cute little lamp that I'm using to do my flash cures, by the way, came in my XVX system. It's a cute little hands-free lamp. I'm testing it out today just to see how I like it, but you guys also know I have a Pottle lamp. The Pottle is also a hands-free lamp, so I would encourage you guys to check out the Pottle. I do have a coupon code. It is more affordable than this lamp, um, but you know, just see whichever one works in your budget. All right, so let's take a little intermission, quick intermission, and then I'll show you guys what the nails look like after this. All right, look at the ladies cooking. Look at the ladies cooking. What y'all making? Some these seafood? Nuts. You making these nuts? Don't listen to her. We making some. That's what you cooking, seafood. Daya? No, we making some corn, some potatoes, some sausages, some shrimp, some crabs. What else we making? Some, that's it. Now, I don't eat sausage, but I'm sure I'm gonna mess everything else up. Yup. Sure I don't eat these crabs and the shrimp. Yup. That's for sure. It's gonna be I good. Uh -huh. For sure, we got a little wine over there. Yeah. No, it's we not got some yet. hard liquor in the fridge. Oh, we got we ended up getting a watermelon too. Right. Oh, we got watermelon. It's right here. Where? Right there, bomb bar. Cool. Not cool. Yet. Cool. Maybe cool. We even got the ghetto crush soda. Can I just do this first? What I know about I crush? Wait, is crush good or is crush ghetto? Crush is good. It's good. Oh, okay. That's we got the, the good. Real, the oh, this is the real. Oh, check is the check is the, check the, check is the, the ghetto. ghetto. Oh, look. Ghetto. We not even ghetto. We got the real <laughs> deal. <laughs> <laughs> you bought this with your lot of winning? Mm -hmm. I know that's right, Daya. <laughs> my lottery ticket. I know that's right. I should have the shrimp. Shrimping up. Look. <laughs> Look at the shrimp. Shrimping up. Look at the pile. Piling up. <laughs> Get me out of this video with this bonnet on my head. <laughs> I got a bonnet on too. Okay. You look cute with your bonnet, with your eyelashes right. flying away. Take me off this. Shoot. Them eyelashes flying away. <laughs> video time. <laughs> I know. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so extra. You didn't get the watermelon, that's it. Oh yes, we gotta get the watermelon. What are we gonna watch? Okay. So much food, so much food. We ate and we were all stuffed. Everyone took a nap and woke up and ate again. The movie we ended up watching was The Players Club, classic, right? Yeah, it's a classic. I love that movie. And so here are the nails, guys. Dun, 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 dun. I think these are just so beautiful, so grown up. So my mom, she would definitely wear these and show off and be like, hey, look what my daughter did. Look what my daughter did. You have two matte nails, three shiny nails, a little bit of bling and a little bit of transfer foil. And then you also have the spider gel. Like there's a lot going on, but it also looks very put together at the same time. I really enjoyed doing these nails. Well, nail crew, that is a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed going to the cemetery although that's very weird to say but i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to tell me what you guys think about that duck drop the duck emoji and let me know do you think that might have been my mom or am i just absolutely crazy let me know let me know in the comments below don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i love you guys so much i have another video that i will probably post I don't know. I don't know when I'll post, but I'll post sometime soon. So stay tuned to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell so you know when I upload next. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.